everyone. Uh, lovely to speak to you again. Uh, I know it's very weird conditions, but we wanted to go through um, Hegarty Maths with you, just a reminder of how to do things and what's happening and how to find your tasks. All right, so let's have a quick look. You go on HegartyMaths.com and you're going to go to Student Login. Now, normally it'll prompt you for your school, so you do an ISLW, start typing it, and it'll appear there. So you click on the school. Now, first name is last name. Make sure you put your name in as it is on Sims. If you've got a double barrel name with a hyphen in it, try that because it might be that's what you need to do if you haven't done it yet. Okay, so just double check what your actual setup of your name is. Um, and if you're not sure, let send us a message and we can always help you out with that. Okay, um, so I'm just going to do this quickly. So, yeah, yeah, and then I'll click login. Now I'll ask you for your password. If you're not sure, just click here and it'll send a reminder to you each of that. Okay. Once you've got it, you reset your own password to whatever you want it to be. Okay. All right now, this student um, who will rename remain anonymous um, has 29 tasks. So if I click on their tasks here, you can see this will be the same on yours, exactly what you've got. So that shows me that eight months ago I was set a task. Okay. But then as we scroll down. The most recent ones are at the bottom. It's a bit confusing, but scroll all the way down and the most recent one will be at the bottom. Now you can either start the task, redo the task, or something here you can continue task. So if we click on this task, first of all, that'll take to the most appropriate tasks, the last one I was set that I need to get completed. So here's my video. Now we want you to watch the video every time first, just so you see what's happening. Click through the video, okay, and to video let it play. I'm not gonna play the video. But if we play it through, you make notes, you read, um, listen, and have a go at some of the questions. Once you're ready, you then go on to the quiz. So click do quiz here. So place these, uh, uh, so make these biggest possible numbers. So place these in a different order to make the biggest number possible. Okay, so we'd go seven, six, one. Then we click check. Great, we've got it right. Now, if you wanted to, you can leave a comment to your teacher, but really, um, you're only going to need to send a comment if you um, if you need a bit of help or if you're unsure on something. Let me go on to the next question. Now, let's say, for instance, you weren't sure what you were meant to be doing with this and you needed a bit of help and a bit of support. There's this button here. If you just see it, there's a video where it says get help. If you click on that, that will literally take you to the part of the video. See, that's seven minutes in. They'll take you directly the part of the video you need to help with that answer or that question. Okay. But let's say you got it wrong and you typed in, um, so what is it, make the biggest possible number. So you went for um, 924. Oops, 924. And you click that. If you got it wrong, it then tells you to go and have a look at the video at that point as well. So either you can choose to, or you can do it yourself. Once you're happy and you know it's 942, you click that and you're good to go ahead to the next question. And that's how each question will go. Let's say you're on a quiz and you're not sure, completely not sure. If you go back to your tasks and go back to the one that you're on, if you go to continue task, it takes you back to this, the video, but below it, there are building blocks videos that will build up to this lesson. So things that you should be able to do before you can do these videos. OK, so if you're not sure, go back to these. So don't give up straight away. There's plenty of steps that you can take to move forward. OK, so those are if the tasks have been set by a teacher. Now, if you've just been given a video, so let's say we want you to use video number 25. You go to this one on the search function and you type in 25. Odds and evens, you click on that. Again, we didn't want you to watch the video then do the quiz. If you're still not sure after watching the video, you can go back and have a look at these. Double check, you know what's going on. Or you can type in a topic, so division. So we've got division of decimals, division with decimal answers, divisibility tests, loads and loads of things here. The only thing I'll say with searching for something is, have a look at the quiz. The lower the number, normally the simpler it is. Okay, so the, the more complex tasks will be the, the, the greater numbers. But your teacher should be telling you where you need to go. Now, we've also got this then, this, my scores. So you can do all these things historically, but all of them, we should be aiming for amber, really. So that's an amber, that's red, that's red, 
green. So green is 100 percent. Amber is 70 percent plus, which we'd say is a pass. And then red is below 70 percent. So we need a bit more work on them. Um, I would always try and go back and check and just go over whenever I can if anything else that I need to. All right. The next part and the final part is going to be the revise function. Now, every class is going to be set to something called memory. And that will be one task a week, maybe two tasks a week, maybe three tasks a week. It is up to the class teacher and depends on what the need is of the class. But you can do as many as you want a week. You earn points, you earn scores. Now, if you click on memory, it takes you into um, a set of questions. So there's your task here. Now, if you go on to continue quiz, you'd get a quiz there and you can just jump straight in. So that's the nearest fat thousand. For instance, we'd have 469,000. OK. Now, all of these are questions that you've got right before. So there's no get help video. There's nothing else. You click forward onto the next question. Right. Now, once you are finished, you click back. We should really try and finish the quiz and you'll get a score and your score will keep going up and up and up. OK. The second thing is fix up five. Now, fix up five are five things you have not got right before. So the things that you need to work on. So five questions that you failed at before, um, which some people get a bit worried about. But we have a look at this and we go, right, well, 60 over 90, uh, 96. I'm not sure how to do this, but look what's back. It's the get help video. So if you click on the get help video, watch the part of the video clip that's going to help you and then have a go at it again. And hopefully you get more of an idea of what you're meant to be doing. OK, and from that point, then we can think, well, that's going to be five over eight. So I put five slash eight. Now, if I can't do that, if I'm not sure about if I'm not comfortable there, I can use the on screen keyboard. So I delete that quickly. I can use the fraction button, which is just down here. Look. And if I hide the keyboard again, it's there. So five over eight. I click check and I've got that one right. OK, so did you know that you got this question wrong on Monday, the 12th of February, 2018? Now you've got it right. So the idea is you're, you're adding to what you've done before and you're getting better and better and better. OK, anything else that you need to know you're not sure about, um, please do ask us now here. It looks at this person's um, dashboard. So everyone's dashboard look at like this. The idea is this will get bigger and bigger and more full of green and amber tasks. OK, not expecting you to finish all of them, but we need to have a look at getting as many through as we can as the teacher set it. Any more questions, please do email us um, via the Google Classroom or ask your teacher when you're in catch up sessions to help you with anything you need. OK, see you guys soon. Bye.